All right, y'all, what it is, what's up? It's Captain Crush in the mix. I'm going to cover MLB and WNBA prize picks today. I cover NFL, NBA all season long, everything fantasy sports. I'm your man. I'm your guy. You got questions? I should have an answer most of the time. Now, I was actually going to have this video out super early today, but then we started sweating the early games. Sean Manea just cashed his fantasy score for us. Hopefully that holds up. And we're sweating Bowden's fantasy score. He did cash his pitching outs, which I had anchored on chalk board so we're in the mix on that so hopefully this video is going to be quick as you can see i'm opening it up with mlb on dg you can see Duran over eight fantasy points right out of the gate is plus ev then you keep scrolling down the usual suspects are juiced under otani judge it's uh wheeler it doesn't feel good but if you wanted to go there you could so what i'm gonna do is filter this out to mlb and wmba since that's what we're covering today i will have an nfl video showdown for tomorrow and a normal video for the sunday slate don't you worry comment guy i got you so i uh, captain Chris, i didn't even know this but blake snell and colin ray a more 11 and a half pitcher strikeout combo is looking crispy i think snell's in a spot to bounce back i think ray can get three to five k's snell could get 10 by himself that is something you're 100 gonna want to consider now you can see here hunter brown who's a, an elite pitcher over seven k's is popping because he's seven and a half everywhere else i would check the pitcher model that I put out for you guys in the discord and find out there Mr. Joey three and a half K's do you really want to go with the trap line that's going to be up to you Matthews can he strike out five angels that's to be determined and Michael King's fantasy at 38.5 those are going to be the ones that you're going to have to make all these decisions on and if you keep scrolling down to the nitty-gritty you can see Nicholas Pavetta five and a half K's is minus 143 obviously Pinnacle's considered the sharpest among betters so you could go find out what he's projected for check your outlier check your boys projections and get in the mix on that so let's load up the holy grail of pick'em sites which is prize picks for the time being underdogs chasing and we're going to talk about underdog because i just figured out something absolutely cinematic over there but let's go to the mlb tab i am going to talk about wmba you can see prize picks has their font changing they're no longer doing 10.0 they're just showing the even numbers I, I don't know what's going on with that maybe it's a glitch I don't really care for it that way because this makes it look like if he gets seven K's, normally when they have the even number like that, it's at least seven K's that would cash you. But he actually has to get eight. So prize picks, you need to fix your stuff because it's going to confuse everybody. People are going to be pushing and they're going to be thinking that they won when it's not. It's a push. So first, right out of the gate, the 540 p.m. game, Zach Wheeler. This would be my play of the day if I'm going for a safe pick. It would be five and a half versus the poverty Tampa Bay Rays. Again, y'all, I'm going to be flying through this like I'm in a McLaren right here, right now. You might as well be calling Captain Crush Cheetah because I'm running a 4-2-40 on this video. 15 of 20. He's hit 6Ks in 15 of 20, y'all. All right, it's minus 137. You are paying significant juice on this. He's an elite pitcher. 89 percentile strikeout. 83 percentile strikeouts per nine. The matchup couldn't be crispier. 26th in the last 30 days and 26th overall. They're absolute poverty. So you automatically know that Zach Wheeler 5.5Ks is in the mix. Now, he's at 7.5 here. Here. If he was at seven, I'd say maybe because of the matchup, but for him to get eight Ks, it's a stretch. If you want to gamble and take that, you could. I'm giving you my favorite would be his Gabi, the safe route. It's not even safe. He could sell this absolutely. Gabi sell all the time. But for those of you that want to get upset and say, oh, you win a bit of Gabi. How about yesterday's play of the day, which was a demon that cashed? How about that? You don't believe me? Feast your eyes on this right here. Here it is. Black and white, black and green. Gallon Taco, Aaron Chivale, 15 and a half pitch outs that was the play of the day i said if you're scared don't tail and i threw in canning too which i also gave out and said the same thing soul read on both these gentlemen and they absolutely cashed i think it was 6.75 x something like that i'll take it that was the play of the day cash it so i don't just give out gabbies i give out demons too wherever the value is on there look ben he tailed it right there that was the pair i gave out with the taco sabrina sold costing us all a lot of coin but it is what it is Pay of the day was definitely Chevale. He said it. He cashed. So don't you get your panties in a bunch because Captain Crush likes to take gobbies. I take gobbies, demons, whatever. If I like it, I take it. I don't care. 
So once you have the lines that you like, look at the projection sheets if you're in the Discord, compare them to there, and that is how you'll get in the mix. Case in point, I had Aaron for 5.3 innings, which is 16 outs. That's how I knew to take it. On top of that, we had a live stream where I gave out Demon Hitters, Manny Machado, Otani unfortunately sold, and Jordan hooked, but we had a sweat, Pablo Lopez pitching out steam and cash that the slip was so good it went four of six it actually paid 1.5x and we had a chance at 55x and 5x so captaincrush.net gold package come join the team you're gonna get mlb WNBA, nfl nba all the projections all the plays all the lineups and slips draft king write-ups you name it i got it but most importantly you will get access to the live stream and the general chat which is monday through friday and then there's a sunday live stream at 9 30 10 30 central time for nfl now the reason i went on that is because i do want you guys to know these youtube guys that aren't in the court i don't just give out gobbies and be and parade around and be like oh the gobby hit and gobbies aren't safe but a gobby at five and a half here for this particular guy in this matchup when his normal line is seven and a half i mean this is why we're taking gobbies because I don't want to take him to get 8Ks, but I still want exposure to him because the matchup is significantly mint, which means what are my options? Well, if I could find him at 6.5, I would take that. Can't find it, so I have to go to 5.5. That is the risk reward of this. I made the case I showed you 75% of the time he's hit. He's in an elite matchup. If you want to tail, tail. If you want to fade, fade. I don't get angry. Whatever you guys decide is your thing to do. Now, Colin Rea, he, he is my pending demon play of the day. All right. His strikeouts is a normal square, which is absolutely fine. The matchup is mint as it's going to get. He, his range of outcomes is anywhere between two and five. Five is his ceiling, I will admit, but because of the matchup, he gets a little bit of a nudge. As you can see, in, thir in 30, over the 30 days, they're ranked 18th, and overall, they're ranked 29th. In his last five games on the road, he's gone over four and a half strikeouts as well. I think it's an absolute good line to take. If you look at his last 20, 12 of his last 20, he's gone over four and a half. The matchup is good he got six this was last season though so it doesn't really apply there's no data for this season it's a good play now look at his pitching outs this is my pending play of the day the demon 14 of his last 20 he's gone over 15 and a half it is a demon payout now here is the fly in the ointment the last two starts he only got 12 aaron chivale just got limited yesterday he was doing pretty good and they pulled him at 16 outs early way ahead of schedule now if you look at his earned runs he only had two the last start and he only still only got now on september 4th he only gave up two earned runs and on august 30th he only gave up three earned runs and they still only let him pitch 12 outs which is four innings three outs per inning four times three is 12 okay you follow so we have to figure this out i mean look at this matchup 26th in the last 30 days 28 28th in the last overall and 26th in the last 30 days you're not going to get better than that bro Rhea is not a strikeout pitcher but the matchup is too good to ignore okay he's just not a strikeout pitcher can he get k's yes but his range of outcomes his ceiling is pretty much five his goblin would absolutely be optimal it's more likely that he's going to get four than five but again what i personally like is this demon at 15 and a half? I'm telling you guys, I can't figure out why it's at 15 and a half. Obviously, the books know something I don't. He's gone over this in 14 of his last 20. Okay, in head to head, again, this is last season, 18, 18. But look at his 2024, all of it, 16 of 24. So his range of outcomes, he's hitting this more often than not. And even there, there's one, two, four of these are hooks okay that's the thing here he can just get pulled randomly the manager just wants to save him for whatever reason so that is the risk here i'm letting you guys know up front this is a huge risk because of that situation okay so if you don't want to tail i completely understand it because a he could get shelled or b he could just get pulled early but i'm not afraid of it i think his k goblin the demon outs the regular square and even the combo because snell could absolutely carry snell could get 10 k's here and i wouldn't bat an eye then Rhea would only need to get two cash it at the end of the day guys you got to get creative it's up to you guys there's only so much here i can do now for other earned runs that i liked I honestly think Bobby Miller is in a similar situation. The Cubs have heavy hitters. They can go off anytime. They won yesterday. Obviously, they put up six runs. And Bobby Miller is one of those guys that can give up three earned runs, but he can also get you a lot of Ks. 
which is why I will be attacking both sides of this. So I will be taking more on his two and a half earned runs, and I'll also have exposure to his four and a half gobby, and as well as his normal line at five, okay? Both of these are fine plays to take. Now, I'm trying to get through this video fast. I've already done all the research. I'm showing you a little bit behind the curtain, but these are options you can have. Now, I'm going to see if there's any more things on here real quick before I transition over to the WNBA. I have a full playlist of demon goblins and normal lines posted in the Discord already, so if you haven't checked that yet, get in the mix. As far as hitters go, Otani sold everybody yesterday. So did Mookie. So I will go right back to Mr. Otani. 1.5 and 2.5 i'm going right back to the well guys i don't care otani whenever he puts up over five like he did yesterday you can almost assume that he's gonna go yarn today okay i mean that's just how i think if you don't feel the same way then you can take less on his fantasy score at 10 but i will have exposure to both of these and i promise you if otani sells i don't care i'm up so much coin on otani it's not even funny and the same can be said for his partner in crime mookie Betts. All right, he's in the exact same situation. Sold yesterday, big league. Now he's in the same situation. He can get three, one and a half, two. His fantasy's also in play at nine. I think it's a little high, but either of those are fine for your hitters. Now I will have a live stream today at around 5.30 central where we'll go over the rest of the hitters, answer your questions, throw in some demons and whatnot. But for now, that's what I wanted to go over with you guys. Now let's flop back over to DG and go over to the WNBA. Also, do not forget about Pavetta he's in play at five and a half now what do you notice right out of the gate okay there's never really going to be 54.5 percent value until it comes closer to lock with WNBA that's just how it is guys but we have to find something here because we want to take something right all right so you could see Smith over six dimes she's five and a half over here six and a half over here there's pretty much no consensus whatever you want to do there is fine Odyssey Sims over 10 points seems like it could be okay half a point advantage Rakea Jackson was at 14 and a half earlier she's now at 15 now at 15 it's a fade she is decent but yeah asia wilson is chasing a record today so you could get in the mix on that points rebounds over 39 it's always a sweat because her lines are always super high kelsey mitchell at 21 at 20 and a half she was on chalkboard at 20 and a half right when i clicked submit they bumped it to 21 on me they sold me but it is what it is so let's go back over to prize picks but before we do you can use dg for underdog prize picks parlay play wherever better boom all of them okay use code crush for 20 25% off your first month crush 35 for 35% off the season of NFL you got to get in the mix for NFL guys now let's go over here to WNBA first half where I'm going to give you my gut calls and then I'm going to talk about this thing on underdog and then we're going to wrap this puppy up Kelsey Mitchell she significantly performs better in the first half than the second half more 10 and a half first half points is in the mix I will have exposure to this all right point blank period Asia Wilson more first half points you can get in behind that she chucks she's that team she's the best on that team it is what it is it's what she does number two would be the fantasy score of Miss Brittany of Miss Ariel Atkins she's been an absolute wagon at 13.5 I got her at 13 the 0.5 bump is mid it's whatever if you want to go there you absolutely could and then I'm sorry Miss Jackson Ooh, you're at first half 10 PRA is she cashing she might be absolutely boys she has been an absolute wagon now she absolutely could sell too if you want to take her fantasy score instead of her pra you could but that opens you up to turnovers i think either or is fine they're interchangeable even her first half points she's gonna shoot the question is is she gonna make her shots so both of these are in play both of these are my wagons and speaking of wagons my yesterday WNBA play, I put out four plays. Carrington Cash, Bonner Cash, John Quill Jones sold by point one for my perfect four-man sweep. Jackson, she was there yesterday. She soared. That is absolutely the story of yesterday. And today is going to be the same thing. Sometimes wagons sell. It is what it is. But you got to ride the train if you got your ticket. As Skywalker says, Captain's preaching the gospel. And he's absolutely right, man. Somebody's got to preach the gospel to you young heads out there. And I'm trying to do it wagons will wagon but sometimes even a good tire goes flat sometimes even an old reliable engine goes bust you just got to keep grinding it out now that's not to say that asia wilson isn't in play caitlin clark isn't in play i liked boston they bumped her up clark's always in play 
All right, if they put up the GOAT, Stephanie Dolson, first half fantasy points, you take it. I mean, that's just automatic. They don't have it up yet because they're scared, so we're going to have to wait and see. But Asia's chasing a record, so if you did want to attack, that's fine. Everyone's talking about how she was in a boot. I don't care if she's playing. She's fine. Her Gabi is fine. I got her earlier at 27. They bumped her all the way up to 28. So now I would tend to lean on her Gabi at 24.5. Same thing with Kelsey Mitchell at 17.5 if you wanted to attack her full game. She's hit that in 75% of her last 20. Asia's getting a pace up spot. I mean, all these are options, y'all. All of these are options. Always check DG before lock to find any value you may have missed. And then Kelsey Mitchell's field goal attempts was at 16 and a half earlier. They bumped it to 17. If it goes back to 16 and a half, it would get my blessing. Now, Reese is out for the season, so you might want to attack the Bulldog, Miss Carter. I don't know what to take for her. All her lines are sky high. But me personally, I would be leaning towards her fantasy score at 36. That that gives you access to everything that she does, including those turnovers, but I wouldn't have a lot of exposure to that. Absolutely. Now that's it for prize picks today. If you want more, get in the live stream, captaincrush.net gold package. Now let's go over to underdog. So let captain crush can talk to you. So go back to DG and let's see what we got here. You can see Zebby Matthews is at five and a half over here. You could take less there. Any of these hitter fantasies would be fine. Gunner, steer, Hap, we talked about the Cubs hitters, man. I like the, the I like the Cubs hitters. Hap is going to be, I will have exposure to him. All right, but what I wanted to show you was they have a CD Lamb free square. This is a gimme. You can't get any better than this, y'all. You get the free square. They got vulture protection. They have a ton of promotions going on. But right now, unfortunately, I can't show you what I wanted to show you because I already have one in. In fact, I don't know where it is to find it. I'm caught with my pants down here. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, here it is. And it's called Streaks. I'm not sure why they lowered my payout to 8,000, but it should be for 10,000. A $10 entry gets you 10,000. The way it works is you have to pick a two man first. You pick your two man. If it cashes, then after that, you have to get eight plays right in a row every day and you get a chance to win 10,000. You turn $10 into 10,000. It's basically a ladder challenge. They call it streaks. It's not showing up here because I already have one in, but my third pick was Kelsey Mitchell, higher 23 and a half points rebounds. This should be at 10,000. I'm not sure why I got deducted. I mean, but neither one of these were gobbies and Kelsey Mitchell wasn't a gobby. I'm wondering if they went after the fact and made Kelsey Mitchell a gobby. Maybe that's what happened. But basically, if Kelsey cashes today, then I need to pick another one four and then all the way till I get to 10 10,000 a guy in my discord just turned me on to this the other day Damian Lillard shout out to Dame Lillard he hit for 10k I believe or he was about to hit for 10k and they also give you payout equity so let's say you're on the ninth pick you could cash out for $5,600 or whatever his thing was if you don't want to risk it but this is the ultimate ladder challenge and I absolutely think it is a huge deal and I would honestly think that prize picks eventually is going to have something of their own a lot of people love a good ladder challenge but when it's built into the software you can't go wrong so get on underdog use code crush they'll match your deposit up to a thousand you'll get your free squares you get to use all this stuff and on top of it all baby i'm giving you 30 free days of the cord you email me you're in the mix it's that simple but this is the holy grail of sweats and I can't wait. I'm glad I'm turned on to this because now I can do this. The entire discord can sweat along with me. I'll make one for the YouTube as well. Once this one is finished, win, lose, or draw. And it's not just $10. You can do $1, $5, or $10. It's an amazing thing. Get in the mix. They also have their normal pick them stuff like always live picks and everything else so get in the mix on underdog y'all i'll make a lineup during the live stream today folks short little video today probably longer than i wanted it to be to be honest but that's okay remember captaincrush.net gold package you can get the six month for a discount i hope to see you in the mix you're gonna get your coins worth here's the salute good luck in all your contests tomorrow i got an nfl video coming for the showdown and it's gonna be a banger so my brothers and sisters in christ let's crush